Welcome to my channel. Lesson, working with files This lesson describes how to open, create, and save drawings. Objectives After completing this lesson, you will be able to open drawings, create drawings, and save drawings. Working with files Drawings are created and saved in the DWG drawing file format. To access this data, you must learn how to create a new drawing, save a drawing, and open these file types. Use the quick access toolbar to create, open, and save new drawings. Open a drawing to open a drawing, use the open command and select the files that you want to open. Command access open command line, open application menu, file open toolbar, quick access. Open file dialog box use standard Windows control plus and shift plus selection methods to select and open multiple files at once. Create a new drawing to create a new drawing, use the new command. Select a template or select open with no template, imperial or metric. Drawing templates are drawings that are saved in template format, .dwt, and that can contain information such as a title block, layers, text styles, dimension styles, and settings relevant to your specific drawing needs. Command access new command line, new application menu, file new toolbar, quick access, or select template dialog box saving your drawings use the save command to save your drawing. The first time you save a drawing, the save drawing as dialog box appears. Navigate to the folder where you want to store the drawing, enter a file name, and select save. To save a drawing with a different name, select save as. Command access save, save as command line, save, save as application menu, file save, save as toolbar, quick access, save drawing as dialog box save first and save often as a new user. You should get in the habit of saving your drawing as soon as you create it and save often as you work on your drawings. This is a habit that can be easily learned and could prove to be very valuable in the event of unexpected system failures. A quick way to save your work is to use the shortcut keys, Ctrl plus S, and displaying objects when you use the software, you draw all objects at full scale. Sometimes you need to view the whole drawing, sometimes just smaller details. To assist you in viewing different areas of the drawing, there are a number of zoom and pan tools. You can easily magnify small areas of your drawing to provide a closer view or shift the view to a different or larger part of the drawing. You can save views by name and restore them later. In this lesson, you explore different methods of using these tools and develop your use of the interface. Many of the zoom and pan options operate transparently. This means that you can use the options while you are in another command. After completing this lesson, you will be able to use zoom and pan commands to control the drawing view display, use the wheel mouse to pan and zoom in the drawing, and regenerate the drawing view. In the following example of a typical drawing, it would be nearly impossible to work on if it were on a sheet of paper that was the size of common computer monitors. Using the display tools, you can magnify any portion of the drawing to fill the available space on your monitor. Objectives After completing this lesson, you will be able to identify tools that control the drawing view display. Use the pan real-time command to perform real-time pan operations in the drawing. Use the zoom real-time command to perform real-time zoom operations in the drawing. Use different zoom commands to control the view magnification. Use a wheel mouse to zoom and pan in the drawing. Use the Regan command to regenerate the drawing. Display tools Most of the time you will use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out of display views in your drawing. Additional zoom tools are located on the navigate panel in the view tab on the toolbar ribbon. Command access display tools Command line, zoom, z or pan status bar, pan or zoom ribbon, view tab navigate panel pan There are additional options for the zoom command but they are beyond the scope of this course. See help for additional command information. Pan you can reposition the center of your view on the drawing by using the pan command. Just like panning with a video camera, panning your drawing changes only the position of your view of the drawing, not the location or magnification of objects in the drawing. Command access pan command line, pan, p ribbon, 
View tab navigate panel pen shortcut menu, pen when the pen command is active, the cursor changes to a hand icon as shown above. Click and drag the cursor to pan the drawing view. Command options while in the pen command you may access other pen and zoom options when you right click in the drawing window to display a shortcut menu. Option description exit, select to exit the pen or zoom real time commands. Zoom, select to switch to zoom real time. 3D orbit, select to perform a 3D orbit of the view. Zoom window, Select to perform a zoom window operation and return to the pen or zoom real time command. Zoom original, select to return to the view prior to starting the pen or zoom real time command. Zoom extents, select to zoom to the drawing extents and return to the pen or zoom real time command. Warning. The 3D orbit option is not available in Auto CADLT. Procedure. Panning in real time the following steps outline how to pan dynamically in real time. 1 on the ribbon, click view tab navigate panel pan. 2 click and drag the cursor in the direction that you want to pan the drawing view. Release the button when you are in your desired position. 3. Continue to click and drag as required. 4 press ESC or enter to exit the pen command. Panning considerations Panning has the same effect on the drawing as using the horizontal and vertical scroll bars. When you pan the drawing, you are not moving geometry, only changing the position from which you view the drawing. Zoom real time The zoom command increases or decreases the magnification of the objects displayed in the drawing area. When you zoom out, you see more of the overall drawing. When you zoom in, you magnify parts of your drawing to view them in greater detail. Just like zooming in and out with a camera, using zoom does not alter the actual size of the object. It simply changes the relative magnification of objects displayed in the drawing area. Command access zoom command line, zoom, Z press enter on the keyboard for real time option status bar, zoom ribbon, view tab navigate panel zoom drop down real time. Zoom note, if the zoom real time icon is not readily available, select it from the drop down list. Shortcut menu, zoom when the zoom real time command is active, the cursor changes to the icon above. Click and drag the cursor up to increase magnification or down to decrease magnification. Procedure, zooming in real time The following steps outline how to zoom dynamically in real time. 1 on the ribbon, click view tab navigate panel zoom drop down real time. Press enter. 2 click and drag the cursor up to increase magnification or 3 click and drag the cursor down to decrease magnification 4 continue to zoom in and out as required 5 press ESC or enter to exit the command zoom command options the zoom command has multiple options available to customize the zoom command access following are the most frequently used zoom command options for viewing different areas of the drawing note not all zoom command options are discussed. Zoom command options command line, zoom, z, see the command line option for the zoom commands listed below, ribbon, view tab navigate panel zoom pull down, zoom command options zoom window zoom, z, pick two points to define the window in the drawing area to use the zoom window option, use any method listed above to start the command, click in the drawing to specify the first corner of the window, 1, and then click to specify the second corner of the window, 2. As a result, the drawing view is magnified and fills the drawing space with the area defined by the zoom window. Zoom extents use the zoom extents option to zoom to the extents of the drawing, that is, the area of the drawing in which objects are placed. When you zoom to the drawing extents, you magnify the drawing view so that all geometry in the current space, model space or paper space, is visible. Zoom, Z, E then press enter zoom previous use the zoom previous option to return to the previous view. Zoom, Z, P then press enter. Wheel mouse features the wheel mouse is a variant of the standard pointing device that is modified with a small wheel between the left and right buttons. You can rotate this wheel in small increments. You can use the wheel to zoom and pan in your drawing without using any commands. When zooming in, the location near your cursor is the focal point of the zoom and thus remains on the screen. The zoom factor system variable controls the incremental change, 
whether forward or backward. The higher the number of the variable, the greater the zoom. How to use the wheel mouse do this. 2. Roll the wheel forward zoom in roll the wheel backward zoom out double click the wheel button zoom extends hold down the wheel button and drag the mouse pan press and hold the shift key and the wheel button and drag the mouse constrained orbit press and hold the control key and the wheel button and drag the mouse pan, joystick, in some situations, when using the mouse wheel to pan or zoom, the actions have no effect on the drawing. For example, you might only be able to zoom out to a certain point. When this occurs, you must regenerate the drawing by clicking Regen on the view menu. Wheel button modes you can set the wheel button to function in two different modes. The value of the button pan system variable controls whether panning is supported. If button pan is set to 1, the pan command is activated when you use the wheel. If button pan is set to 0, the object snap menu is displayed when you use the wheel. Regan use the Regan command to regenerate all the geometry in the drawing. Use the region all command to regenerate all the geometry when there are multiple drawing viewports. When you regenerate the drawing, the screen coordinates for all objects in the drawing are recomputed and the drawing database is reindexed for optimal display performance. Command access Regan command line, re, Regan, region all automatic drawing regeneration by default, when you create a new drawing, the Regan mode system variable is set to 1. This enables the drawing to regenerate automatically whenever you perform an action that requires regeneration. Guidelines when regenerating large drawings because regeneration recalculates the screen coordinates for all objects in the drawing, it usually takes longer to regenerate large drawings than smaller ones. If you experience performance decreases on larger drawings, consider setting Regan mode equals zero to prevent automatic regeneration. You can manually regenerate the drawing when you need to exercise, zoom and pan in the drawing in this exercise, you open an existing drawing and use the zoom and pan tools to view different areas. The completed exercise completing the exercise to complete the exercise, follow the steps in this book or in the on-screen exercise. In the on-screen list of chapters and exercises, click chapter one, taking the auto CAD tour. Click exercise, zoom and pan in the drawing. 1 open C underscore displaying objects dot DWG. 2 on the view tab, click navigate panel pan. 3 alternatively, right click anywhere in the drawing area. Click pan. Click and hold the mouse button and drag to change your view of the drawing. 4 while still panning the drawing, press and hold shift. Note. This temporarily restricts the movement of the pen from any direction to orthogonal mode. 5. Right click anywhere in the drawing. Click exit to end the pen command. Note, you can also press ESC to end the command. 6. On the status bar, click zoom. Enter E in the command line to select the extents option. Notice how the view changes. Note, if you have a 3 button mouse with a scroll wheel, you can double click the wheel button for the zoom extents command. Zoom in real time, on the status bar, click zoom. Press enter to select real time. Click and hold your mouse button and move the cursor up. Still holding the mouse button, move the cursor down. Notice that as you move the cursor up, the drawing zooms in and as you move the cursor down, it zooms out. Note. You can also activate the zoom real-time command by rotating the wheel on a wheel mouse. Rotating the wheel away from you zooms in, and rotating toward you zooms out. 8. Zoom to a window, on the view tab, click navigate panel zoom drop down window. Click two points around the center section of the drawing as shown by the arrows in the following illustration. 9. Pan to the lower left corner of the drawing. 10. On the view tab. Click Navigate Panel Zoom drop down previous. This returns you to the last view of the drawing that you zoomed or panned to. Note, only the last 10 view changes are saved. 11 Close all files. Do not save exercise, hands on tour in this exercise, you open an existing drawing. You use display commands and explore the user interface. The completed exercise completing the exercise to complete the exercise, Follow the steps in this book or in the on-screen exercise. In the on-screen list of chapters and exercises, click Chapter 1, 
taking the auto CAD tour. Click exercise, hands on tour. 1 open C underscore Hummer elevation dot DWG. Because the drawing was last saved with the color layout view active, the drawing opens to that layout. 2 on the status bar, click zoom. Enter E and press enter to select the zoom extents option. The drawing is magnified to fill the screen. If your workstation is equipped with a wheel mouse, double clicking the roller button also selects zoom extents. 3 use the wheel mouse, if you have it. Position the cursor to the left of the top view and roll the wheel forward then backward. If you do not have a wheel mouse, right click anywhere in the drawing window and click zoom. Hold the left button down and drag the mouse up and down. See how the magnification changes. On the view tab, click navigate panel zoom drop down extents to view the entire drawing layout. 5 now you switch the drawing view to model space, which is where the geometry for the drawing resides. On the status bar, at the bottom of the auto CAD window and to the right, click model. 6 on the view tab, click navigate panel zoom drop down list window. Click near the points indicated in the following illustration to magnify the area defined by the window. 7 on the view tab, click navigate panel zoom drop down list previous. This returns you to the previous view. 8 on the quick access toolbar, click save. 9 in the application menu, select file close. 10 in the application menu, top right, you see a list of previously opened files for quick access. Select the C underscore Hummer elevation drawing. Notice that it is open to the last view in which it was saved. 11 on the bottom right of the auto CAD window, click layout to activate the color layout. Close the drawing. 12 now you start a new drawing. On the quick access toolbar, click new. 13 in the select template dialog box, click the arrow next to open. Click open with no template, Imperial. This opens a blank drawing with basic settings that you can change, such as the unit's format. Note, for Auto CAD LT users, click Akadult.dwt. 14 move your cursor near the upper right corner of your drawing area. Observe that the coordinate readout shows a screen size of about 12x9 units. 15 close all files. Do not save. Chapter summary now that you have been introduced to several core features, you can begin learning how to create geometry. Having completed this chapter, you can identify and state the purpose of the main interface elements. Open, create and save drawings. Use the zoom and pen commands to view different areas of the drawing.